What's happening guys? Happy 2022 and welcome back to another episode of Ruse Reviews and today we are chatting about Recoil by Rick Holcomb and Copeland Coins. So let's get into it. Okay, so before I get started, happy 2022. Let's put all the nuisance of 2021 and 2020 behind us and uh, move on with our lives, hopefully. But either way, I hope you're all safe and sound and have had a well-rested Christmas and New Year. So today's review is going to be a little bit different. Uh, as most of you know that follow this channel, you'll know that I sort of have a more of a monopoly on mentalism effects, uh, your close-up effects here and there, but mainly mentalism and for some reason wallets and apps. I don't know why. But today we are going to be delving into some coin magic with this recoil from Rick Holcomb produced by Copeland Coins. So, if any of you have followed my journey over the last two years, maybe not on this channel, maybe on other social media platforms, they're here. Uh, you will have noticed that I have put out a few releases of my own. The first initial releases came through Copeland Coins, uh, an amazing company, an absolute privilege to work with, but have a monopoly themselves on coin magic and furthering the craft of coin magic. Uh, so when I got a chance to work with them, I jumped at it. And this effect, recoil, is the same. It is one of those effects that will push and challenge you and enhance modern coin magic. And that is the beauty of this effect. And any of you that know Rick or follow his YouTube channel, and if you haven't followed Rick's YouTube channel, I'm sure I'll pop it up here, uh, you should go follow that because that channel is how I first was introduced to Rick and Rick Holcomb's work, including Slipe Arm, which is on Copeland Coins as well. And this product, and this project will take you so far with your coin work and developing your coin work as well. So let's get into what this is. Recoil is a beautifully constructed routine that allows you to mold silver at your fingertips. You first take a coin, you then mold it into a little silver ball. That ball can then be stretched back out into a coin before being rolled back into a little ball and then back into a coin. That coin then gets placed into your pocket and penetrates through your pocket. You can then take the silver coin and stretch it out before returning it to its original form to be handed out for inspection by the spectators. I mean, that is a mind-blowing statement in itself. That is what the trick does. Along with this product, what you get is a few different options and ways to purchase the product. You can either get it as a download by itself, you can get a standard package which is the download with the props included that looks like this. Uh, you can get the deluxe package which is the props uh, at, along with an 8-ball and the jumbo 8-ball which is an 8-ounce, it's not an 8-ball sorry, it's an 8-ounce jumbo ball, uh, comes in a bag like this and um, I'm going to get this out just so that you guys can see, looks like that. So yeah, very nice, a very big, very shiny. Um, you get the choice for that, or you get the platinum package, which is all the props, including the eight ounce jumbo ball, and a extra spring, the spring that you use to make it look like the coin stretches out. So just to show you what these props actually look like, if I open up this package here, this is what you get. I'm not gonna show you the other side of this package because the instructions are on this side, but you can see you get a spring, and a ball in this very nice Copeland Coins sort of shrink wrapped package, which is a great way, and I wish other companies sort of took foresight from here, a very easy way to be able to package props like this. Um, but you get the spring that allows you to um, make it look like the coin gets stretched, and I should point out that this spring, which is sort of like a slinky, which is why you could probably find a version yourself, uh, this spring has been cut down to size, and the edges have been shaved off to make it easier for you to handle. And Jeff and the team do all that work themselves, so this saves you from having to do any of that prep at home. When you get this, it comes through the post, the props are good to go. And this little ball bearing here, if I can get that in focus, um, that little ball bearing is what the coin gets molded into. I should point out, disclaimer straight away, this product was sent to me 
but it wasn't sent to me for review. This was sent to me out of the kindness of uh, Jeff and Cloakman Coins' heart, and indeed Rick Holcomb's. They sent me the product um, just as a little gift, as a little present, so it was my idea to review this product for you guys. Um, and one of the reasons is, there hasn't been that much. I haven't been in front of the lens that much this year. And the reason is there isn't that much that's caught my eye. Yet again, there hasn't been anything out there that um, has really sort of pushed me into wanting to review something for you guys. And as you guys know, I only want to review stuff that I would use and stuff that I have gone out and worked. Um, and this, Recoil, has been in my close-up sets over Christmas. Uh, <laughs> like... Every single gig is so minimal. The actual pocket space you need, uh, all you do is fit that spring and that ball into your left pocket, coin in your right, and you're good to go. Um, it is a very, very easy routine that you can just slot into the other routines that you're doing. The other thing, um, and Rick mentions this in the download as well, is that you can do different parts of the routine. You can make it your own, you can change parts of it. Um, you can, it's, it's very much modular. If you've seen my other project, Evanescent, which is on the 1914, um, that was based on this idea of modular phases as well, that you can just take and do maybe one phase for a, for a couple and another phase for a table or something like that, you know? So you can split it up and it doesn't have to be one whole routine that you do. But the whole routine it's in, in its entirety is so beautiful that I have just ended up doing the routine in its entirety a lot of the times because it makes total sense. In fact, enough waffling because I know you guys like to see a performance because, you know, why would I say that I do these things if I don't show it to you? Here is two performances. Uh, one is of the uh, coin being stretched and the other one is me messing around with the ball bearing. Uh, so yeah, have a bit of fun, enjoy, sit back, relax. Here's a couple of performances of Recoil. There we go. Uh, no one start having a go. Why didn't I do the whole routine on camera? Uh, mainly because I was just messing around with the routine. And the beauty of the routine is that it can be done separately. So I thought, oh, that spring bit would look good uh, as part of a production sequence. And the ball bearing routine just looks great by itself as well. But together in a live performance, they really uh, complement each other, which is why it's great doing that full routine to a live audience as well. Included in this routine is Rick Holcomb's amazing teaching. Uh, Rick is one of the most generous and easy to listen to uh, creators and coin workers that I've ever had the experience of working with and chatting to uh, and just so knowledgeable as well. And everything that you learn within this project you can apply to other parts of coin magic and maybe other parts of magic as well. Um, the way that Rick breaks down the routine um, with moves that maybe you've not tried before um, and moves that uh, are implemented in this way, and I'll get into that in a second, uh, really make for just a beautiful learning experience. Uh, and with Copeland Coins, you also get the Dave system. So the Dave digital annotated video experience. There we go, I nearly forgot it then. Woo! Nearly forgot that. Um, but that experience allows you to see almost like a book next to the video. So you can see pictures, you can see bullet points, you can see notes from the editor, notes from Rick, notes from Jeff. Um, and you really get to see this project broken down in such a visual and easy to learn way that it makes this whole experience so enjoyable. Now, my favorite thing about this routine 
is it gives me a reason to start loving spellbound routines again. Now, for those of you who don't know what a spellbound routine is, it is where a coin will change denomination and color multiple times, maybe culminating in a jumbo coin or something like that. But it's just a visual uh, repetition of coins changing. Um, and for me, I've never really felt that that was, you know, the be all and end all of spellbound routines. And what this does is it takes the idea of coins changing and flips it on its head. You know, the fact that that coin changes from silver to a little silver ball, like a silver dollar to a little silver ball and then stretches out right in front of the spectator's eyes. It just gives this whole um, sort of spellbound like feel, but not with the monotony that most spellbound routines have. And that is what is beautiful about this project. What they've done is pushed and almost reinvented that spellbound like routine so that it is a coin trick and a coin effect that you guys will have never seen before and indeed your audience will have never seen before. The teaching video itself is 47, 48 minutes long and you learn everything It's in its entirety and nothing is left out and what you gain from it is so much more valuable than what you get from maybe like a, a three minute download or just a, a quick sort of flash in the pan effect. This has been in the works for a long time, and I know because Rick mentioned it a long time ago, <laughs> but this has been in the works for a very long time. And um, you can see that Rick has gone out and worked this in the real world. In fact, the spectator, two spectator performances are brilliant as well. Difficulty level. Not something we always talk about here because it's mainly about mentalism stuff and you know, you, you, you're writing stuff down and putting it in envelopes a lot of the time. Bit of memory work maybe. But difficulty level with this, you are coming in between advanced beginner to intermediate, personally. You are going to learn um, moves, which are probably adaptations of coin moves, but used in a way to maybe switch a coin for one of these. Um, you are going to learn ways to position your body. You're going to learn how to steal things. Um, but even when I say intermediate, it's not the high end of intermediate coin work. It is really simple palms, like a, a finger palm. Um, so he goes into a back clip at one point. These are all simple moves that you can find, but they will help if you don't know them and or, or, or if you don't really use them as much in your coin work, they will help you put those moves into practice. You know, they'll really help you grow as a coin magician. And that's what I think this routine does beautifully. It puts together a set of moves that are neither too easy or too hard and give you a visual experience that you can't get from any other piece of magic. So really nothing else for me to say. This has been, it's got to be one of the best things I've seen all year. Um, the fact that I've used it in nearly all of my Christmas shows this year shows that I, I and I really put new stuff into shows, um, shows how much I love this product. Go out there, Pick it up for yourself because I know that you will get a lot of fun and enjoyment out of it. That was Recoil by Rick Holcomb and Copeland Coins. Thanks again for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you all very soon. Ciao.